Welcome back to One Punch Man Anime Review Special Number 10. This one for you, the 101st chapter of the manga. And this one is called A Smoky Muzzle on the Edge of Life and Death. And this whole chapter is focused on the character Zombie Man. A character who didn't, on the anime, didn't, I think he appeared for like maybe one episode or two. You see, the thing with Zombie Man is, the guy is pretty much immortal. He looks like a zombie, but the guy, the reason why he's called Zombie Man is because this guy, no matter how many times you try to kill this guy, he cannot die. That is why he's called Zombie Man. So, yeah, this whole chapter is focused on him. Because after the last, like, three chapters focus on Child Emperor, and of course, last chapter had a brief cameo by Saitama for the first time in, like, eight chapters, this one is all focused on Zombie Man. First face some demons, and then Zombie Man just plows right through with, with his gun, just blasts them. Pow, pow. Oh, those of you curious to what Zombie Man looks like in the manga? Yeah, he also uses a sword as well. This is what he looks like. Yeah, that is Zombie Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he blasts through all these demons. He's blasting some demons behind him. Said demon, like... He sees one behind a wall, and he manages to plow with it with a frickin' axe. Yeah, an axe. He kills a demon by, by walking through an archway. Yeah, it looks like he's walking through an archway, and in between the archway, like, there's these, like, looks like about four demons, and it looks like Oscar is, like, they go through, he goes through two, and they get sliced to pieces, and then he comes across a bunch of more demons, walks through them, Never the past, the only pass by, he goes to a steel door, and he comes across a vampire. Yes, a freaking vampire. I love this two-page spread. Yeah, this looks fantastic. I love this. This is really, really good. And they just spend the portion like they use some talking, <laughs> like everybody people laugh at him. And he says, they like asking the vampire to tell me your name. A lot, my, ah, my apology. Let me just, I am someone who likes to do this. Just fires his gun off. Vamp, the vampire bites him. And apparently his bite does nothing. Says, yuck. Yeah, well, biting his on man's neck. Even looks like he's dead. He gets up. And he's like, yeah, yeah I'm truly a monster. And then Zion Man just does this little awesome action pose. This is common scene in movies. He just empties out the holsters, puts in, magically looks like he shoots out new holsters out of his, and he basically puts his guns like back in, like shoots out some new new, uh, new holsters, new um, bullet things for his guns, and then blasts the vamp, and then just fires his gun off and destroys the vampire. Well, the vampire also plows through him as two. And he heals up pretty quickly. And then the guy just uses, and then he takes out his swords and slices at the vampire. And then takes his gun back out, blasts the vampire, misses. And apparently the vampire slices through a couple of his own demons just to absorb him to get stronger. Then Zion Man gets a blast of the vampire's power. And even though the guy his, yeah, and then all of a sudden, like, then there's a vampire that bites him, he's like, and then it's like, eww. And he gets up, and he says, I don't feel like exhilarating, but it can't be helped. You, vampire, are you ready for a battle of exhilaration? And we cut the black, and 30 minutes later, plow, the, the vampire is killed off panel. Like, what? It's like, what the heck is this? Yeah, I'm like, okay, we're about to see this awesome battle, like, and more of this awesome battle. And then the battle happens off screen, like, what the heck, Juan? What did you do that for? Yeah, it's one of the most strangest things. Yeah, then he just walks out of the room. And he's about, and he just, he's about to walk around, and he takes the bar. And just bends it over. Like, oh, this dirty over there, huh? This way we'll be able to escape. And apparently, like, inside their room, he's like, he's real. And he just apparently just kills all 30 demons off screen. Opens the door up. 
walks through the guy, pretty much has got lost his arm streak is growing back in. And his arm goes back anyways. Kicks a ball, it says, Alright, all healed up. Time to go on another rampage. <laughs> this is something I did not expect to see this. Yeah, a chapter focusing on Zombie Man. Now this guy did get his own there was an OVA focus on him where there was a murder mystery. Who killed Zion Man? And here's the thing. He he was actually killed excuse me, with a sword atomic samurai by a by it was the terrible twister. She killed him with atomic samurai's sword. And he gets up like, Oh, I'm fine, just need to sleep. Yeah, so it turns out he never died at all. It's, it's just a joke about how many times. It's kind of like he, it's implied that he might be, and this is my personal guess, it's kind of like one person bases this guy off Wolverine, due to how much damage this guy can take. Like Wolverine, possibly Blade, for, well, the one from the films, not the one from the comics. And from from the way that his gun action is, I would say that the writer one also partially based took some took some ideas from the Kate Beckinsale's Celine from the Underworld series, especially with the whole what when the guns get automatically like re, like dropped down and then automatically reloaded. Yeah, it's like he took that from that particular film. It's like he takes so much information, so much like awesome characters and put them into Zombie Man. He's just a really good character, but I really wanted to see like not only Scientum again. Because he did show up last chapter. I kind of like to see Buzzard's group again. The one who last was seen back in chapter 93. It's been a good like 8 chapters since these characters showed up. I kind of like to see what the heck happened to them. It's like they go off to look for Saitama. And then of course at the end of the chapter of course, that's when Saitama makes a key appearance. And that's been basically it for that group. Yeah. Maybe they might show up next chapter. Who the heck knows? This arc has been going on now. The whole thing, this battle on the ground now, is going on now for at least, I'd say, eight chapters now. It's going on for a little while, but yeah, who the heck knows whenever the next chapter comes out. It could come out even in two weeks. It just depends exactly when it does. I mean, this just came out just just a couple days ago. Yeah, it came out actually just last, I think it was just yesterday it came out. Yeah, so either it could come out next week or probably two weeks now. It depends upon... Whenever one comes out with another chapter of the book. Yeah, one is the writer of One Punch Man. Yeah, from what I can tell, it's probably a pen name. And he's the one who wrote the original web comic. I have read the small portion of it. I haven't read the whole thing of it. And man, the guy is not a good artist at all. He's a good writer. I at least got praise him for that. But in my opinion, the, the artwork for the manga is better than the original web comic. That's just my opinion, anyways, when it comes to that. And yes, I am looking forward to when the seat when the series comes back in three months in April, along with the second half of Tekken Titan. Okay, so that's it for this particular review. Stay tuned for my review of Overlord. That I'm going to resume. I'm going to hopefully get a chance to finish reading this last chapter in the epilogue soon, and of course do that particular video. That'll be my second special of Overlord. Okay, but do this next review. Bye.